All right, so we're gonna make a really simple triangle transition. So let's start by making some new tracks for the clips and then two for the camera movements. Now I'm gonna minimize the tracks so they don't take up too much space. You can just click here, or if you have a bind, you can click on that to minimize all of them. Then I'm gonna click on the top track here and then hold shift, click on the bottom one and click two times on this button. If you don't have these buttons, go to more edit visible button set and click on show all, and then you should have them. Then let's do the triangle mask for our first clip. We want this one to go from the normal size into being a triangle. So let's go to the masking. Then I'm gonna take this tool because we need a point at every corner. So let's do something like this. And then we can adjust it. Oops, we can see a bit of the background here, so let's move that down. Same here. Just gonna put it a bit on the outside, like that. And then we're gonna go two frames forward. Just go back to the normal edit tool. Click here so we deselect the mask. And we want it to rotate while it's like turning into a triangle, so let's move this point over here. And then we're just gonna do a triangle shape and move this one on top of the other one like that and now it should work now we can delete the first one so we don't have any unnecessary keyframes and make a keyframe here in the middle let's see here and we're gonna move this one to the position of our next marker like that put a fast fade here and a slow fade on the first one let's put the first keyframe six frames before this so one two three four five six put this one over here now you should see that the mask transforms here It'll look a lot better when we add the movement. So let's do the first movement, but before that we need to make this 3D. So I'm just gonna select the tracks and change the compositing mode to 3D. Like that. Now we're gonna open the parent motion on the first track here. Make a keyframe, just delete the first one because we don't need it. Go two frames forward and you can move this to any position you want. There aren't any rules for what type of movements you can do. I'm just gonna move it to the side and down a bit. And I wanna use more even numbers because I think it's easier to work with. And then we're gonna do the same thing, so make a keyframe in the middle. And we're gonna move this to the next marker. And the first one is six frames before this. So now the like keyframing for the mask and the movement will be the same. Okay, nice. And then let's put the next clip here. We're also gonna start this six frames before the marker. So the object is like in the project before the camera moves to that position. We can actually go over here and then adjust the position. Do it so it's kind of centered. Like that. And then we need to do a triangle mask on the second clip also. So open up the masking. 
And these can be pretty random, so don't need to worry about the masks too much. I'm gonna try to be make it a bit bigger here. That should work. And let's let's put this a bit closer to the camera. So open up the track motion again. And then we're gonna just like increase this a bit. So we want it to go the opposite direction, like that. So this is looking fine. Now let's make the movement for the following transition. So this is just the same process. That's why I'm only doing like two of these transitions instead of the three I had in the example. So I don't stretch this out too much. Okay, uh, maybe zoom this out first a bit. Can I just put it somewhere over here? Let's see, 350 maybe. And then we're just doing the same thing. So a keyframe here, six frames before the marker, another one with a slow fade, and then a fast fade here. And then we're just gonna move this here to the last marker. Now we can already see that this one isn't really getting centered since the other movement is moving the camera more over here. So let's just change the position a little bit to the side. That's a bit better, so yeah, let's have it like this. And then we're also gonna do the next clip. Just going here to the end and then I'm gonna reposition it. So like that. Let's see how much we need to increase the position maybe like that. And then make the triangle mask. Gonna try to make this a bit different. And we can move it a bit closer. Let's see, maybe 400. You can also add animations to these triangles. But yeah, I'm thinking of skipping that step here. And normally I just do like a a rotation, so you can change the rotation values. But yeah, let's make it more easy this time. And one thing that makes it look a bit better is when you duplicate the, the triangles like that. And then we're gonna like make a type of outline. So we're increasing the size and then drag down the opacity a lot. So you have this type of like outline here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other clips also. Let's see, uh, I, del I deleted the first keyframe right here. Okay, good. And then also for the final one. And then we can also add a background to this so it doesn't look so boring. So let's duplicate the bottom track. You can just start with a white background, but you can change this into anything. So you can see that it doesn't cover everything right now. So we need to go here. And then we're gonna increase the size. Let's do 400 to start with. 
Okay, we can still see that it doesn't cover everything, so let's increase this to 500. But you can use any type of background you want. We could just add particles here quickly. I'm not gonna show all of the particle settings because I have some particle tutorials you can watch. And I think most people know how to make particles. I, I could be wrong, <laughs> let me know. Just gonna adjust the size a bit so it looks better. Uh, let's add some more. Damn, it's lagging a lot. Let's pre-render this and see what we got. So this is looking pretty okay. Here's a really simple triangle transition and then you can like, continue with a zoom in or zoom out or any type of transition really and start it with something so we have some movements here also. But uh, I think this is where I'll leave it at. Hopefully this helps and you can check my tutorial playlist for more tutorials similar to this. I have some 3D ones and particles that are kind of related to this. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.